Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rahim. Today's our topic is dental cements based on phosphoric acid. So based on phosphoric acid mean that phosphoric acids and basic oxide form phosphate salts of low solubility so these cements which are having phosphoric acid and reacts with basic oxide to form phosphate salts of low solubility having zinc phosphate cements silico phosphate cements copper phosphate cement silicate cement are not included due to their application <clears throat> although they also have the same setting reaction now zinc phosphate cement presentation is powder and liquid availability is bottle and encapsulated form caps encapsulated mean in capsules encapsulated form provides speedy mix like amalgam capsule uniform consistency reliable performance increased working time <clears throat> composition of zinc phosphate cement is zinc oxide which is approximately 90 percent and it is a main active agent or ingredient other metallic oxide approximately 10 percent liquid is aqueous solution of phosphoric acid which is 50 to 60 percent concentration and aluminum phosphate and zinc phosphate up to 10 percent as buffers phosphoric acid buffered by adding small quantities of zinc oxide or aluminum oxide which forms phosphates to act as buffer and retard the reaction now the setting reaction is vigorous reaction produces relatively insoluble zinc phosphate as you can see zinc oxide phosphoric acid and water so zinc phosphate and water released only surface layer of zinc oxide particles reacts leaving unconsumed cord cores which bound together by the phosphate matrix if we take it in our mind same which we have seen or which we have studied for denture base acrylics so reaction is rapid and exothermic not the similar one but it resembles like that Re reaction is rapid and exothermic manipulative variables powder liquid ratio depends on application a putty consistency you people now know about the putty consistency what is putty consistency that is zero is it think upon that and see the impression <coughs> chapter a putty consistency powder liquid ratio of about 3.5 to 1 for cavity lining and loading a fluid mix lower powder liquid ratio to ensure flow of cement during seating the restoration personal experiences are more reliable lower powder liquid ratio produces weaker more soluble irritant material powder mm -hmm. liquid mixed in small increments delaying the setting more working time 
delaying the setting mean not delaying the setting if we mix powder and liquid in small increments it will delay our setting and give us more setting time i think i should do it like this yes concentrations of zinc phosphate at early stages of setting are not sufficient to increase the viscosity mixing after incorporation of all powder should be discontinued why because continuing to mix after zinc phosphate has started to form produces a weak cement a cool glass slab facilitate easy mixing not to cool the slab below the dew point and all you people know what is the dew point and the dew point is the point where atmospheric water can be condensed so if we cool slab below dew point it can condense atmospheric water on slab which slab glass slab then water goes into the mix of cement and water affects setting and physical properties in the previous chapter in organometallic compounds chelate compounds water added to or water accelerates but here it retards the setting or it affects setting and physical properties encapsulated form is free from moisture accurate proportioning and mixing is also ensure through the encapsulated form available also in pre encapsulated syringes mixing time is 5 to 10 seconds and for direct use pre encapsulated encapsulated syringes can be used directly you can squeeze the syringe the content of the syringe into the directly into the cavity <clears throat> liquid should not be kept openly especially in humidity cap of the liquid bottle only be opened when needed because hot and dry atmosphere causes crystallization of phosphates which can be observed on the sides of the bottle if it is it it is opened or it is kept open due to the evaporation of the water liquid also too much sensitive about water a sm small change in water content produces unacceptable and large difference in properties <clears throat> if crystals appears in bottle discard the liquid for looting working time can be increased by putting the material by putting the material to the restoration not on the tooth keep it in mind for looting working time increased by putting the material to the restoration mean to the prepared crown to the prepare uh, inlay etc not into the tooth there is marked temperature difference you people know between the ambient temperature and the mouth temperature great chance of viscosity increase increase before seating the restoration if we take it into the heart mouth temperature or into the normal mouth temperature which is above the ambient temperature a completely set cement can also be observed even if you put 
cement directly into the tooth and take your restoration for example crown or inlay <coughs> or other thing may it, it may be possible that the cement may be set before placement of the restoration or other thing thermal changes can also affect properties cast or all porcelain restoration have a space between the cast and preparation as we have observed for the cement load 30 to 40 micron meter space generated by painting varnish or dye spacer when we are making our crown these dry in a single coat for reliable film thickness multiple coats may be desirable for porcelain jacket crown if we are using porcelain jacket crowns platinum files are used platinum file you are well aware of the platinum file and the space which can be produced by use of platinum files crown made by refractory dye need space which were made through coating on dental stone model of the prepared tooth we have to paint spacer on the dental stone model before the preparation is replicated now looting agent loaded in sufficient quantities excess produces problem on seating so excess of everything is bad keep it in mind now requirement standard ISO 9917 is properly manipulated material provides sufficient working time no specification is given there setting time is between 2.5 minutes for loading cements and for lining cement it is 2 minutes these provides a sufficient working time evaluation by resistance to pre penetration of the material a probe of one millimeter diameter and load of 400 grams the material considered set when a probe of one millimeter diameter with a load of 400 gram cannot penetrate into the material the material considered set when it can fully support the loaded probe lower powder liquid ratio used for loading lower powder liquid ratio produces a thin film of lute film thickness can also be controlled through particle size of zinc oxide powder and it provides more exposed surface area to react acid buffers provide a sufficient working time film thickness of less than 25 micron meter is sufficient for looting and application of force of 150 newton to the material and pressed in two circular glass plates the area will be 200 millimeter square is used for determination of the film thickness of the material convergence angle of the axial wall axial wall you know and convergence mean divergence and convergence you people know ideally be 10 degree that is 5 percent taper on each side smaller angle now convergence so this is the angle of convergence 
say this is our you can say prepare tooth so five degree there and five degree here so both 10 degrees and no, 10 degrees and five degree taper on each side five degree from this side and five degree from this side convergence angles of axial wall smaller angles makes crown seating difficult if angles are smaller than five degrees then the crown seating will be more difficult you cannot seat the crown due to no fault of the cement and it has no fault on the part of cement initial hardening occur within four to seven minutes standard time for lining and for looting is six and eight minutes for lining it is six and for looting it is eight minutes hardening time now compressive strength is 80 mega pascals for looting and for lining material it will be 140 mega pascal this reflecting the difference powder liquid ratios and their effects requirement of iso standard is only 70 mega pascal lining materials also used beneath amalgam and mechanical properties at three and six minutes after placing are important mechanical properties of the cement determines the retentive properties phosphate cements are not adhesive to tooth substance or to restorative materials it is the inter it is the mechanical interlocking of the cements which we have seen in the previous chapter requirements between tooth and fitting surface due to the surface roughness you have seen the surface roughness tags of set cement and correct design of paper prevents displacement of the restoration taper mean that convergence angle tags should resist fracture in function maximum strength achieved high powder liquid ratios cannot be used for looting cement because increased film thickness a general rule cement should be as thick as practicable for each job set material has small but significant solubility in water and cement loot margins the cement loot margins may erode slowly in the mouth by combination of dissolution and abrasion And cement loot is potentially weak link for indirect restoration. And the cement loot, which cement loot? Which is from zinc phosphate cement. Erosion leading to loss of the cement loot. Failure of the restoration is not associated with zinc phosphate cement it occurred due to poor design of the preparation important consequence of lute erosion is crevice that is gap formation where caries develop cement erosion and solubility cannot assess experimentally because it is multifactorials many factors are involved in it suspending discs in water for 24 hours 
weight loss of the cement is recorded. Solubility of phosphate cement about 0.1% and solubility of 0.3% for a silicate cement. Clinical situation ranking of solubility for the two cement is reversed. You can see the difference because of the multifactorial nature of the tests better indication of solubility and erosion is or can be achieved by testing material in acidic media already we know lactic lactate buffer with a ph of 2.7 in the presence of mildly abrasive conditions Method currently used in the ISO standard implies use of impinging jets of buffered lactic acids. Impinging jets, that jets throw, opens and throw, like you spray to clear your uh, glass or windscreen. So these impinging jets of lactic buffered lactic acid were uh, released or used which dissolve material at the surface and wash away the solubilized, the solubilized material to expose a fresh surface yes now Now, the requirements of cements as specified in ISO 9917. Cement, zinc phosphate cement, the maximum film thickness in micron meter is 25. Minimum compressive strength in megapascal is 70. Maximum acid erosion in millimeter per hour is one per carboxylate cement film thickness is maximum 25 70 compressive strength megapascal and two millimeter is the acid erosion for glass ionomer maximum film thickness is again 25 millimeter uh, micron meter sorry minimum compressive strength is 70 to 130 megapascal And it is a lower limit for loading and lining, higher limit for restoration. 70 is the for loading and lining and 130 is for restoration. And 0 0.05 millimeter per hour is the maximum acid erosion. And then silicophosphate is maximum film thickness is not mentioned. And 170 is the minimum compressive strength. And again, 0 0.05 is the maximum acid erosion. Biological properties. Zinc phosphate cement is irritant to the pulp. So a cavity lining material is necessary. pH value at the time of application is between 2 and 4 depending on the particular brand and the powder liquid ratio. Degree of irritation depends upon the depth of the cavity and the thickness of the residual dentin. Trends changing towards acidic contact to the pulp tissue, many times described, it is considered unsuitable for lining in deep cavities. A sublining of less irritant is advised, like zinc oxide eugenol or calcium hydroxide. Fluoride zinc phosphate also contains some fluoride salts which, lead out, which leach out from the cement and provide protection against caries. Quantity leached is much less than which is silicate cements 
is present or which is shown by the silicate cement and glass ionomer cement. Insulator, adequate thermal insulating properties are there. Thermal conductivity, 1.1 watt per minute degrees per centigrade. And compared with dentine, which is 0.63. and dental amalgam is 23. Thermal diffusivity equal to tooth substances. And so, it is acceptable, but it is not a effective chemical barriers. We should remove the even word. Now, appearance, you, appearance as it contains zinc oxide and unreacted zinc oxides, so it is opaque. Porcelain crown with zinc oxide lute looks quite ugly, whitish. Aesthetically not good, especially at margins. If we see, you can see the margin of crowns and bridges of people which shows a white uh, surface or white uh, margins. These are actually the margins of zinc oxide loop, which are not wiped off by the technician especially. Crown margin should within the gingival crevice in order to hide any exposed cement lute. Uses zinc phosphate cements are widely used for all types of lute applications. I think not all we can say were Nowadays, we are not using this. Cavity linings under amalgam fillings is acceptable. Now, silicophosphate cements. Hybrid zinc phosphates and silicate cements are silicophosphate cements. Presentation is powder and liquid. Powder is zinc oxide and aluminosilicate glass. Liquid is aqueous solution of phosphoric acid. Liquid also contains buffers. And production of a matrix is the setting reaction. Zinc and aluminum phosphate enclosing unreacted pores of zinc oxide and glass particles and properties are the silicophosphate cements are stronger less soluble than the phosphate cements aluminosilicate glass particles also contain significant amount of fluoride anti karyogenic effect to the surrounding tooth is through this fluoride and they are used prim primarily as a temporary filling material. Now comes the copper cements. So this is the copper cement. Copper cements are closely related to the Zinc phosphate cements, presentation is powder and liquid, powder zinc oxide and black copper oxide. Liquid excess solution of phosphoric acid. Setting reaction is similar to zinc phosphate as we have studied. 
two distinct properties due to copper are there. Number one is the black color. And number second is the antiseptic properties. Not in practice nowadays because these cement were used in deciduous teeth. Why? Because it is impossible to remove all caries from the deciduous teeth. So copper cements are not durable. Other applications are cementation of orthodontic appliances, cementation of cast silver cap splints. Splint, you people know anything which can be hold. through any support. So splints are support and cap splint mean the splints which are supported through caps which used for management of facial fractures. They are not used nowadays because other modern materials are available. And again thank you very much for your patience. And I'm waiting for your responses. Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.